Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing parallel courses in uh, ABAP. Uh, most of you have requested me to talk about this topic and explain it in layman terms. So here we go. Uh, first of all, we need to understand uh, where is parallel cursor used. Now, parallel cursor is used in ABAP code where there are nested loop statements and it improves the efficiency of your program or ABAP code. Now, when we say program or ABAP code, it might be a report, it might be an object-oriented class, it might be a function module, it might be even your OData service if you're doing repeated uh, loops, nested loops, uh, we recommend, SAP recommends using parallel courses to improve the performance of the code. Now, the use case for uh, parallel cursor, we have considered two internal tables, IT Mara and IT Order. IT Mara has materials and assume there are around 5,000 5, or 5K records. And there is another internal table, IT Order, with the uh, sales order details, uh, assume there are around 60,000 or 60K records in each. Now your ABAP code is expected to process each material record and then find out the sales order details for that material and do some further processing. So therefore, we have two loop statements, one at IT Mara and one at IT Order. And if you see, there is a where clause wherein the processing will only happen for those materials which match the IT Mara. Now, for simplicity purpose for explaining, I have used into LW Mara. You can also do assigning field symbol, which will be even more effective. Um, but uh, here we are only limiting it to into LW Mara. Now, let's understand how the processing happens without parallel cursor or even without processing uh, the sorting uh, statement which is available. Now we have like uh, in this example, we have three records in the IT Mara with materials M1, M2 and M3. And here we have around 1000 records uh, in the internal table uh, for these various materials. Now, uh, you, if you see the order records are sorted, uh, but uh, in the order number name uh, numbers, but not with respect to material number. So if you use this internal tables and do a nested loop, what will happen is because your where clause, uh, the connecting clause for these two internal tables uh, is material number and it is not sorted, it will keep on looping from top to bottom to find the matching criteria and the performance of the program will deteriorate because these fields are not sorted. The connecting field, uh, the tab internal tables are not sorted on basis of the connecting field, which is there. So it will always start from the first record and go up to the last record for every iteration on this IT Mara. So if there are three records over here and thousand records in this internal table, 3 into 1000, 3000 times it will browse this IT order table just because you have not sorted the tables with the connecting field. Now, we will improve our uh, efficiency of our ABAP code by adding sort statement over here on both these internal tables. So it will improve the performance of the program because it is sorted. And if you see now the internal tables after sorting, it remains as M1, M2, M3. And now the order table is also sorted. So the looping or the iteration also reduces over here. And it is slightly more efficient compared to what it was before. Now the use case for parallel cursor. Now in addition to the sort on both these tables for the matching field matner, now, in this case, we have used only MATNAR. There can be multiple fields also over here. Uh, the sequence of the fields will remain same uh, in both the tables. Now, here what will happen is uh, we will have a read statement on the internal, I mean, the embedded uh, loop uh, 
for the matching field and we need not uh, move whatever you have read into some work area because we are not interested in getting the value in the work area we are more interested in the line number of the record which matches that criteria and that if your sai sabasi is equal to 0 uh the row number of the matching record for that material number will be fetched in the variable sai tab ix which you will hold it in another variable lv index for convenience per se and now if you see the embedded loop on it order we'll start from that index from where we, which has the matching material number okay and <clears throat> you will loop on that so this reduces the number of times you do iterations on the internal table now again over here i haven't used the uh, uh, binary search if you would have added binary search over here it would have been even more efficient now the binary search would have been added for the read table over here now let us understand how this uh, processing happens once you put in the parallel cursor code uh which is this read internal table and then you loop at the embedded internal table from that index of the matching read so let's understand this now we have already sorted the both the internal tables by the combining field like the matching field material number if you see this it order is also sorted by the material number now the first time when uh, the program will loop at this it mara your material number will be m1 what will happen is the it order uh, uh, iteration on the it order will start from this row number where the m1 material is existing for the first time and it will continue we because we have already added the where clause also that the matner should be equal to the matner of the uh mara uh, internal table so it will end at this particular row over here in the next iteration your material number will be m2 uh there will be a read statement will be which will be performed on this it order which will give you the next row number which is this one because uh, uh of the read statement you get the row number and now the embedded loop on this it order will start from this row number so what will effectively happen is the iterations on this it order internal table will reduce and the uh, uh, looping will start directly from this row number only and then it will compare okay is my material number matching if yes then i will perform the execution otherwise i will exit and then the third iteration the material number will be m3 so uh, the read statement will again give you a index which will correspond to this record and directly the loop statement will start its iteration from this row number so it will skip all these previous numbers uh, rows and it will start the iteration directly from here so if you see because of the parallel cursor and because you are writing this uh, read statement to get the index of the number of the row which matches that criteria uh, the uh, efficiency of the program improves because you are skipping the previous uh, records uh, iterations and you directly start from the record number which matches your criteria and hence your abap code becomes more efficient So thank you for watching my video bye